Pokemon NPCs. They're everywhere, serving whatever purpose they need to fulfill. There are those who exist just to add some flavor to the world, those who will give you cool items or Pokemon, and most important of all, NPCs who play a major role in the game's story. But among all of them, arguably the most impactful are the villains. They're some of the most memorable and iconic characters in the series, and no matter how big or small their presence is in the story, once encountered, they'll leave a sour taste in the player's mouth. But I feel like there's one Pokemon villain that's sort of overlooked. Not because they're particularly forgettable, but simply because they're encountered so early in the game and only serve the purpose of scamming inexperienced players into making an annoying mistake. A mistake that, once learned, often never gets made again. But who is this mysterious scammer, you may ask? Well, it's none other than the iconic Magikarp salesman located in front of Mount Moon, where rookie trainers are given no choice but to encounter him. But believe it or not, this guy, who wants an outrageous amount for his useless fish, is actually not a villain. No, he's not. In fact, he's actually been on your side this entire time. Today, we begin our episode with Red. I'm sure you've heard a couple things not from him, but about him. He's just left the Pokemart after spending all of his money on some potions and Pokeballs. It's probably not too big of a deal. Besides, you probably notice more just how determined he looks. Well, his goal is to become the champion of Kanto, and he's just defeated Brock in a relatively easy victory. I mean, just look at that team. It's pretty understandable why he's feeling so confident right now. But now's not the time to sit around and stroke our own egos. With seven badges to acquire still, Red makes a beeline towards his next destination, Cerulean City. But with the fire type in his party, the outlook of this battle isn't looking too good right now. However, as much of a trainer as Red is, he's also equally a collector. So surely along the way, there'll be something to help him for that fight. Speaking of collecting, however, before he can reach Cerulean City, Red first has to traverse through Route 3 and Mount Moon, two areas filled with tons of new Pokemon to catch. But before reaching Mount Moon, Red has to first travel through Route 3, which has a lot of trainers eager to battle. Well, I guess it's time for some slaughtering. Well, now that that's done, we finally made it to Mount Moon's entrance. But since Red's Pokemon took a bit of a beating from all that battling, he decides to take a quick rest at the Pokemon Center. But little did he know, this Pokemon Center would end up being unlike any other Pokemon Center he would ever visit. The inside of the Pokemon Center looks completely normal at first. To the right of Red is a table with a few cushions to sit on, as well as the PC to deposit and withdraw Pokemon from. And of course, in front of him awaits Nurse Joy. But as he walks up to her to heal his Pokemon, something catches his eye. To the left is a lonely, unique looking man standing in the corner all by himself. Being the inquisitive, although sometimes naive, kid he is, Red decides to strike up a conversation with him. His demeanor is friendly, but a bit shifty, as if he's got something to let off his chest immediately. And this proves true, as without warning, he makes the first move, offering just the deal for Red. What is this deal? It's none other than a secret Pokemon, a Magikarp. It's a Pokemon that Red has never encountered before, and it's a water type, meaning that it can help him surf across the ocean later in his adventure. But the best part is, it's only 500 Poke Dollars. Yeah, that's most of Red's money, but who can resist getting a brand new secret Pokemon? Without a second thought, Red takes up the offer. The salesman grins as he quietly laughs to himself. After all, he doesn't give refunds. Red should have known what he was getting himself into. And what a fool Red was. He let his naivety get to him. Now, he's got no money left, and he still has to go through Mount Moon, all with a useless fish on his back that won't contribute at all in battle. He's made a terrible, terrible mistake. Or has he? If it seems like Red is in a dire situation right now, well, it's because he is. After all, what in the world is he supposed to do now with this level 5 Magikarp? There's no point in throwing it away now, as that would be a waste. But sending it into battle, it has nothing to offer besides letting out a vain splash. But Red isn't just some ordinary kid. He's done his fair share of Pokemon research. You see, Red choosing to take up that offer wasn't a blind move. It was completely intentional. 
because he knows that this feeble, helpless Magikarp will eventually evolve into the all-powerful Gyarados. The only problem is, it's gonna take a little bit of time. And upon starting training, it soon becomes apparent that the scam that the Magikarp salesman gave wasn't a robbery of cash, but rather, a robbery of time. But several hours later, all of Red's hard work paid off. What once was a pathetic excuse for a Pokemon has now become a true monstrosity, especially this early in the game. And now, with this newfound power, Red can plow through Mount Moon with ease. He's unstoppable. First is Misty, then Surge, Erica, Koga, Sabrina, Blaine, Giovanni, and finally, in the blink of an eye, he's become the champion. But in all of its glory, as Red makes one last trip around Kanto, he remembers who there is to truly thank for this accomplishment. Not Mom, not Professor Oak, not the rival, but the Magikarp salesman. Because, you see, as much as the Magikarp salesman tried to scam a poor, seemingly unknowing child out of the last few dollars in their wallet, as much as he tries to pose himself as a con man, a villain of sorts, in reality, whether or not it was his intention, he's actually a hero. All this time, while he believed that he was making easy cash by scamming a new trainer, the only one truly getting scammed in the end was himself. After all, he was the one who gave Red the weapon he needed to conquer the entire Kanto region with ease. And in a way, this NPC who was supposed to teach people not to take random offers from strangers has inadvertently taught us a completely different lesson. The magic harp he gave without a care resembles the indifference of others when there's nothing special to offer. Why care about this single magic harp when there are millions of others in the ocean doing the exact same thing? But with patience and unyielding determination, it leaped above the waterfall to become an unforgettable presence. What the Magikarp salesman truly teaches us is that no matter how deep in the ground you are, no matter how hopeless things seem to be in your current point in life, don't ever think about throwing the towel in so early. Because one day, you too will leap over the massive waterfall and become something greater than ever. Oh yeah, and still don't take random offers from people you don't know.